You good? Good afternoon, it's David from Northside Marine. Look, we're just here with our new Mary Fisher 1095. This is a stock boat, it's just, just come into stock right now. So 1095 is going to be fitted with the new Yamaha F300 XSB electronic steering engines. We'll just do a walkthrough, so come up and we do a walkthrough. So as you can see, we've got a side access door, makes docking really easy. And then we have the boarding platform at the back down here as well. Good boarding ladder, ease of access with the, the rail there. And as you can see here, nice big deck area. We do have courtesy lights, really nice courtesy lights, look very nice at night time. Give you a bit of safety when you're walking around as well and the good side access on the door. Really good seating configuration around here. Okay. Nice teak table, looks very nice. Now when the engines come up, this rear seat slides forward. This table will move forward too, so you can still utilise that table area when the engines are up. And normally just the engines are up for when you're in docking mode at the marina or backing up to a beach. Uh, again, really nice airy boat. Big wide access door here too, so it actually flows very well inside and out coming through here. And also, as you know, have all quality premium fittings. Everything slides well, everything works very well in that situation. Uh, all touchscreen lighting throughout the boat. And as you can see inside here we have some very nice ambient lighting, got little LED light strips around the floor. Nice lighting around the cabin roof and then we have separate lighting for each one. Turn them off and on as you can see. Again we've got the um, the table here, and a table can drop down and become a double berth. And this table will also fold, and then this seat here will fold back and give you an observer passenger side seat there. So really, really well um, designed and a really good use of the space. Utilizes most of the space, all the space. So, and over here we have the galley area. So the galley area here, nice clear galley area, nice white uh, bench tops. We have a sink, okay. Um, we have on this particular boat we have standard 160 litres of fresh water and then an extra 100 litres of fresh water which is an option. Gas cooktop, two burner gas cooktop, very nice. And then all just all your storage area. So we've got nice bench top, good storage area in the saloon saloon cupboards on the port side as well. And then we have a storage room we have a 12 volt fridge so 12 volt fridge with a small freezer there uh, this particular boat is fitted with the second fridge which is down below in the third uh, third cabin um, so nice airy boat nice wide a lot of room here and then over here we do have the helm position so the helm helm position is a great spot really really good position if you're driving nice dash layer as you can see we've got the 12 inch sounder gps combination unit here uh, that'll have a g3 car it'll give you auto guidance and all those particular features this particular boat is having the electronic steering so it'll have an electronic steering helm and then we have as we have twin engines we've got twin throttles as you can see here but the beauty of these throttles the new hmx throttle it has single lever control so you push your button single lever control and then you can run both motors with the one throttle which is really nice still have trim position for individual motor or double motors and then we also have the new speed throttle control down here so this will actually just give you increm incrementions of uh, speed okay. uh, CL5 gauge which gives you fuel flow engine management fusion AFM radio with Bluetooth four speakers two speakers out in the back cockpit two in the, in the cabin here and we've got a bow thruster and all your relevant switches, trim tabs, as you can see here. So everything to make boating very, very nice, very comfortable with the tabs. Bow thruster makes docking extremely easily. And having the electric soaring en engines, this particular boat could be fitted, if need be, with joystick. So if you've got a joystick, with your joystick docking and autopilot. So they're options that can be fitted because we are fitting those electronic steering engines. So as, as I said before, it's a three cabin boat. So we're down here, we have the quarter berth very very large quarter berth down the back there so a really nice area nice and airy it has its own portholes for ventilation and good storage area okay. 
Then we come down here into the third room, which is a smaller three-quarter single berth, uh, but also has right down the back there, in the back corner, is access to your technical room, which has your uh, has your hot water service and all your electronics. Uh, over here we have our second fridge with a small freezer, as you can see there. Ease of access, good good storage room, another storage another storage cupboard down below. And the beauty of these boats, these door they all have doors on all the cupboards, as you can see, all, all the cabins as you can see. Okay. And then we have our main main berth area here. So this this berth here at the moment the bed is in day mode. This way bed will slide back, which will give you more length in there for sleeping. We have Good, good visibility right through with all the windows on the outside, good storage in the cupboards. We have a hatch there which would give you more ventilation. Uh, like I said before, this boat is fitted with air conditioning. So if you look over here, we have the air conditioning vents there, uh, climate control, more storage, and again, another little porthole up here. Gives a little, little bit of breeze if need be, but we also have the front hatch, which will be nice. And then, and then, being a 1095, it does have a a shower and toilet. So I've got a separate shower, which is up forward. And here, just uh, go and have a look. So it's a separate shower and also a um, separate head, which is this one's a freshwater flush toilet. Uh, it goes into a holding tank and then uh, macerator. Nice carpet, so we're actually running carpet on this particular boat, which is really a nice, really nice underfoot. Uh, it's clipping carpet, so if you ever did get sand or, or dirty, you can pull it out, give it a bit of a hose, and, and uh, drain it, dry it off. One of the beauties of these um, Janot range of boats and the larger ones, they actually have side access door too. So the side access door makes life really easy when you come in docking. Uh, there's a bollard right there, so in other words, you come in, if you had ropes, you could tie it up from there, but you do have good ventilation. You can see what's going on. Really good accessibility right around. Ease of access up the uh, bow area. We've got nice big foredeck here. So great entertaining area as you can see. Uh, this particular boat is fitted with um, your bow cushions, which will raise up. And you've got nice seating. So both sides can be a uh, seating area. Up forward here, uh, there is a nice storage area. So a good little storage area. Some people store their fenders in there, which is actually a nice little spot for that. So you can get four fenders in there nicely, a couple of mooring lines. There is uh, fender storage and, and storage around on the back cockpit area too. So normally a couple up here, a couple down the back there. Uh, we do, on the roof there, we do have a, uh, a dinghy rack or a rack for a standard stand-up paddleboard. And of course, your two skylights, which are standard on the uh, on the Murray Fisher. So again, coming down here, nice and safe. You've got good high high sided rails, grab rail here if you're coming down through the back. But another good feature too, ease of access through the door makes life real easy. If you especially if you're single handed or short handed, um, it makes docking and uh, maneuverability of the boat extremely extremely easy. Okay, so that is our. Uh, Mary Fisher 1095 and uh, yeah, thank you.